when I was contacted by the team of paleontologists from uh, Berkeley and China about uh, naming a fossil after me, um, I was very humble. I thought it was a very nice thing, but then I heard it was going to be in a traveling exhibit uh, for fossils and rock and roll, and uh, then I consider it a true achievement because of all of my uh, illustrious peers who are also mentioned and named after fossils, and that makes me feel like I'm in good company. Yeah, definitely. So, and you, you are also an uh, uh, evolutionary uh, paleontologist or biologist. So, what's your perspective about this exhibition, or uh, thinking about science and make it public to the uh, to different people? It's very gratifying to me because I kind of dedicated my life to studying evolution and sharing that knowledge that I think is important to share with the public. So these are the kinds of exhibits, uh, these are the kinds of different ways to get the public focused on a very important subject. I teach every year evolution at the university, but these students are, are sort of a subset of society. Yeah, yeah. I think museums are really important, and I think museum exhibits such as this can really garner, get a lot of attention focused on what I hope is uh, an important subject to them, which I believe to be uh, one of the, the most important subjects in civilized society. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, um, for, for me, it's really, really, really special because I'm from the former Eastern Germany, and a lot of friends of mine and me, we really love your music, so we grew up with your music, and now we having this exhibition in Chemnitz, and I'm pretty sure a lot of my friends will visit it and attend it because a fossil is named after, well, the singer of Bad Religion. So what would you say to people coming from, from the Chemnitz area? Well, um you know, it's always meant a lot to Bad Religion um, because, as you probably know, when we first came to Germany, we couldn't play in the eastern part. We came and there was still the wall dividing. And it was always very meaningful to us when we first came over to the east side uh, to play and there were all these fans who loved Bad Religion. So it, it is really uh, appropriate for this exhibition to be going through there and hopefully carrying on the message that we've tried to establish all these years. All right, it's time to call out all those people up there in the cheap seats. Sitting underneath the hay, hey, they are, hey. It's not raining yet, come out. <laughs> This is where the action is, right down here at the front. 